that would make me question what the people with disabilities ever tend to do. What then happens? Do we have people that sign? What if I like okay, sorry. That, I, I feel like that's a topic for another day, but <laughs> that just made me think what you mom get remember is tend or what they in Makala. Yeah. And you can't. Mm. <laughs> so what does that mean for, or are we saying would the women with disabilities shouldn't have children? Okay. Anyway, that's just, yeah, that's what I, I thought about. So that's really unfair. But now I bring in, yes, I'm also bringing up this key one. I'm a percentage, I'm a 1,000, 15, 25, you know? I'm a educated, right? This is where we now bring in Modesta to come and talk. And remember, Modesta is an MNE officer in Togeni Women's Forum. And now, listening to everything that you've heard. Wow. You know, and I was going to start, now there's so much that has happened, but I wanted yep. to say to you, um, we, we, we did a, a, um, a project last year which mm -hmm. was a speak out mm -hmm. uh, campaign. That was against sexual harassment, but also safety of women, yeah. right? And now this is still part of it because my 10, don't understand, Uti, all these things are constitutional rights. Yep. For women, for everyone, not just women, for mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. to receive good healthcare, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And just to be safe, yes, yes, just to be safe. In constitution, yes, what? How many have read the Constitution? Maybe that's what we need to start from. How many of you have read the Constitution? Okay, do you know a Constitution? Zimbabwe has a Constitution. How many of us know that Zimbabwe has a Constitution? So maybe the, everyone, your hands up. Everybody, your hands up. So if you don't know something, put your hands down. And perhaps that's an okay, nice, nice so. so I know that Zimbabwe has a Constitution. I have seen a constitution document. Document is like they don't have a or anything. Just to put it here, since the pandemic, ah, oh, he constitution young boy, or online or whatever. I've heard people talk about a constitution. I have spoken about a constitution with my friends. I know what my rights are in that constitution. As a citizen, not just as a patient, but as a citizen, I know what my constitutional rights are. What's the other question? Okay, so for for those that know what their rights are, I kind of know, is this, like I sort of, like I follow constitutional debates, I'm involved. I'm interested in the Constitution. All right, that's, that's a starting point. Okay, so these are some of our rights. We talk a lot of Google Queening, we talk a lot about our rights and demanding and, you know, governance and all those things. So I would encourage people to find, you can find it online as well. You may well think, I'm a right up as a citizen of Zimbabwe. We, because we need to know that my are For everyone, you're supposed to have health care. It's a must. And then we have a constitution, which is well bringing, where it centers on women. On paper, our constitution when it comes to women is, mm -hmm. when it comes to women, because they've amended it. Yep. Can you share a bit of light on that before we cross over just a little bit? Okay. So um, the constitution of Zimbabwe, uh, it speaks a lot on women, mm -hmm. like what she has said, uh, your rights. Like what Joseph was saying, I think if she was well aware of her rights, she was going to demand that the midwife or the nurse attends to her because I call me access to health, which you have a right to uh, health, access to health, you have a right to freedom of speech, you have a right to, to, to say out what you want. 
So she had a right to speak out to her, what, you know what, what you are doing is not right. I demand you to stand up and attend to me as a patient. Before you even talk about Itolo and Bushumu, before you even, I have a right as a citizen of Zimbabwe to access a health service. And when you are being paid by the government of Zimbabwe, you are at work, so please stand up and attend to me. So those are some of the things that you should know as a woman. What are your rights? What can you access? What can you not access? What is it that uh, or sister can do to you? What is it that they cannot do to you? So you have a right to speak out. You have a right to access e-health. Whether you have money or you don't have money, you have that right to access e-health in Zimbabwe. We are taxpayers. We pay for some of these things. <laughs> so, yeah, fortunately enough, I could relate with some of the things that they were saying because I'm a mom also to a two-month-old baby. So I experienced some of the things that you were saying. So what makes me different from someone else is knowing my rights. What does the Constitution say? What am I supposed to do or what am I supposed to get access to? Whether I have money or I don't have money. So the constitution of Zimbabwe gives you that right to access health. Mm. Mm. And it speaks a lot on women. The amendment now has a lot on women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we, we, we said we were going to talk about how there were reports especially in the first lockdown last year, mm -hmm. of how girls and women were failing to access uh, contraceptive and how during that time also, we had a lot of cases of HPV. Mm -hmm. Obama police, uh, there was a story, I think, in the newspapers, for those that remember, of a lady, I don't know what you so I don't know what you know when you're pregnant. <laughs> 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 you know? mm -hmm. So those were some of the things that we were hearing. Has, was that true mm -hmm. exactly or was it over-exaggerated? And has the situation changed? Because we're still in some sort of lockdown. Mm -hmm. We still have a curfew. So what do you think about the business hour? So what do you You know, those kind of things, those are things that we overlook. Which we think everything operates within business hours. Mm -hmm. What's the situation now on the ground? I think... Um, it depends on the level of the lockdown that we're talking about. Uh, at that time where we had a total, like total complete lockdown, I think it was really hard for women to access um, clinics or hospitals. It was really hard. And sometimes, you know, especially if it's a uh, first pregnancy, you can't tell sometimes. And at that particular time, they don't have uh, inward. And when you get to the roadblock, you don't have the letter, you don't have maybe a private doctor, you don't have a private doctor. So, in total lockdown, yes, um, there are some women who had uh, challenges in accessing um, medical services. Um, also, um, the e movement, within five kilometer radius, so it means what if there was no clinic, close to you, you couldn't access. So in an urban setup, Kunon Silawa my clinics and Nala Pensala Kunanga Tawang a five kilometer radius. I have a clinic. So Naga Kun we may be into the choice could you want to access a private. But as Kang Elen or Mama Basema Kaya. Or Mama Basema Kaya. In some areas they have to walk like 20 kilometers or so, who to be access a local and in my health services. So, I think for Emakaya, really, in some areas, it's true, it was really happening. Although, although we cannot dispute the fact that Emma Town, e lockdown, it was uh, a bit strict than Emakaya. Emakaya, they could easily move. But what about those people who could not? Um, access some health services, we have to travel 20 kilometers or so to access the health services. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, so as a country at the moment, where do we stand when it comes to maternal uh, and neonatal mortality rates? Um, I think uh, the rates are still high. 
I can't really specify AMA, AMA statistics because I saw, um, was it uh, Professor Soloyo commenting on that issue as well, was it sometime last year? Would, of course, in Pilo, it's in Anisimono, but in some hospitals, uh, the rates, they are still high. They are still high as a country. Mm. Mm. Okay, so the government report, we spoke about it just before we went live, um, that there's a government report that states that 4,959 teenagers were impregnated in January and February this year. Mm. while an additional 1,774 got into early marriages, and this is before their 18th birthday. And uh, cases could be higher because some go unreported. And then there's the new Education Act, which came into force on August the 21st of 2020, that prohibits public schools from expelling or excluding girls from falling, uh, who have fallen pregnant from attending classes. This move is meant to eliminate poverty by empowering the girl child. That's what the Ministry of Education says. What's your thought on that? I think um, the act, mm. it's, it's really a, a good move. Mm. But it's a good move. Upa mm -hmm. can cancel mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. It's really a, a, a good move. but. Uh, we should look into things with e COVID. Is it really the attributory factor to AMA cases now? Is it really COVID lockdown in Zagwaba, the high rides of uh, pre pregnancies and child marriages? E COVID, of course, it, really, it was really hard on everyone. But maybe we should look at other issues that, that might have contributed to, to that. It's not a like lockdown. Um, access to contraceptives. Can girls, young girls, especially Emma Kaya, can they access contraceptives? Lockdown or not, can they access? Do you have that choice? Do they have that choice of selecting? Okay, I want this type of contraceptive. Or what? 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 You know, so those are some of the things that we should look into. So I think those statistics really, I think they are true. And um, Kule, I think the figures, like you were saying, I think the numbers, they are really more, more than that. It's really true. Because even if you check the doctors uh, in public hospitals, they were really overwhelmed. There was a situation at uh, one of the public hospitals where even in bed, I see shorter, I'm a doctor, I see shorter, my nurse is I shorter, it was so bad. I want to be in the living pants because I want to be in the living pants. So, yeah, I think it's, it's really true. Mm. It's true. Okay, Chrissy, what, what are your thoughts about girls going back to school? Oh my God, this is a lot. I mean, this, this discussion is very close to my heart as well because, you know, as a girl child, really, you feel at some point you have to disadvantaged. You have to go and stay at home. Yet, umundu ogwenze was twala. We are kubega yena end. But the both of you have dreams. You know, we're living in a, in a world of 50-50. You know, we're living in a world where everyone can be employed, you know, girl or boy. So I would like to say it is really a good policy. Uh, however, now when it comes to Izindo that come, you know, with Uguti Usulom Tuana, you know, it's that phase, Yoguba Mumlezani, or even Ungagabeleti, you know, from seven months, really, it can get tough. So now, Uwenzanjane Skolo. You go back, usas tuele, ume at what point? Because abanye, I mean, batri nile till nine months on the dot. But abanye, sibili at six months, seven months, yeah. you know, ugea chiana, and abanye bavuga begula, isindwe zinjalo, you are in class, you know, even, I mean, the bathroom, mm. you know, trips as well. Abanye bafunda, isindwe zinjalo, you know, those are things that should be taken into consideration as well. Loguti usubele tile. 
also ubuyela nini we know ukuthi omama abanga abantu abadala there is i issue ye ye maternity leave but as a as a umntwana wesikolo wena ubuyela sokuthi yeni and isisu ebesikukhuluma ukuthi asila sikhathi asila business hour asila vacation asila ukuthi you know zazithola nge holiday uzabeletha nini or izinto ezinjalo so what if it's exam season you know what happens so i feel those are, are some of the issues that really should be you know taken into consideration ukuthi ama ama rights angikhona wena law abuya le responsibility enjani and who is in charge and what of the treatment you know eskolo ukuthi lwana umntwana you know we we cannot run away from ukuthi uh, children are the biggest bullies i feel you know they are very mean we cannot run away from that and we can also not run away from ukuthi vele ababali silabo ngabantu you know so now are they trained to relate to a pregnant student or they are trained to relate to umdwana because you know people tend to say nga umuntu esezithwele say adult so now umbali sisefundisa umunyu mama umama you know sefundisa umama are they trained to deal with something like that okay so before i throw it to the audience out is this is this being followed though or in the civil life which there's an act it's been enacted mm. but tina scholars it um i think it's rather too early mm -hmm. to to say what this act is being followed or not because remember um abantu ana bahlala isikhathi esinengi besendlini only maybe abama private schools abahamba earlier but abantu ana bahlala isikhathi esinengi besendlini bavule ka thesi kodwa kungani ku consistent so it's really rather too early to say what you call now this act is being followed or not mm. but knowing um our country we are so good at writing down these things mm. on paper even the constitution it's so good in yeah. articulating your rights and what so this act is a tool go to yakulu maga koloko konke kona loko kuti girls should do this do this do this schools should do this but when it comes to issues of implementation it will be a totally different thing mm -hmm. so rather i think right now maybe we can relook into it maybe end of year mm -hmm. to check ukuthi kwakhona are these things really being followed but like what she was saying the issues of stigma so we might have the act um ikhuluma ukuthi kwakhona abantwana baba amangazana abazithwelewa abahamba esikolo access to education and everything but what of uh, issues of stigma what about those things so what do we do as a country we have an act that allows young girls to access education but they cannot access that education they cannot go to school because why esaba ukuthi bazahlekwa because why esaba ukuthi at some point to teacher uzamthethisa or ekhuluma something that they are not comfortable with so what are we going to do in those scenarios so i think maybe we should re look into that act maybe Maybe we have this goal or end of year to really check, but yeah. Okay. Now to the audience, um, we've spoken about this and we've thrown figures at you. Did you know, number one, maybe we should ask, did you know that this is, there's a new act that allows uh, pregnant girls to go back to school? Did you know that? Yes. Oh, then they don't. Don't Okay, what, what are your that the girls um, are now allowed back into school, but the boys can still continue. No one is raising the issue on the boys. Is that an issue for you guys? This is Peshi. Well, Mina, when I saw that act, I was like, okay, I'm a mom to a daughter. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell my boyfriends or whatever. But I received it as a good idea. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, in what sense? Who says twelve? Is this so? I saw two years later. This is in jail. Two are lot of so suspicion. See a cooler and see hand. Who says about the maternity uniform? In Moba is kept in the same place. The MP, the MP, can you cover them? Zile le ni play case. So which is a isa ko an? How are they dealing with that? One, two. Kulama check up the clinic. I routine yama pregnant girls image and three is issue of stigma. Very lot teacher langam tanamenga buyenga palangi homework. Maybe zolulele 
kumbe it first trimester ya mchaya i morning sickness umsebenzi ukugijimela izinto zabada you know mina ngathi ngizithwele isisa ka was 27 years but i lingambona ngathi ezi ukuthi ingana i still look like so baba sithi bonke aba under 18 hambana ngali mina ngisale ngifezant bangi 30s ukwazinto zabadana umuntu kanzi azi iminyaka yakhe whatever and then ngxa usomjeni si id yakho umdala kona uyasiphathela ama complications yeye kwathi nethini hamba ngali you know i had no place ngapi esibhedle lanti umsuke ngilami ngokuthula ngizihambele ngoba ngincengane ukuncediswa nto then mina it came to thought ukuthi kulani ukuthi fine babuyele esikolo just like there are colleges ukuthi ngawo funa ukuthi trade teaching go to UCE ngawo funa trade nursing go to such such a place and man i think kungcono kube lesikolo esivele sele environment which is conducive for abantwana angaqotshwa kube some kind of an annex or something ahanjiswe lapho azabe e comfortable khona kungcono ukuphiwa i stigma i think ususemtshoveni going home then ukuthi usathi seclass nomnye apho this you know maybe if i give kumselele class in or something eh silaliswa nguwe or what but ngxali lonke le seclass in the pregnant lifundiswa ngumuntu as um uh, she was saying would o understand ayo umuntu ozithweleyo angakubona lokho ujibiza uchitsha maybe abasakunike le nto yalo ukuthi may excuse the class they understand ukuthi any time ziyabuya cuz for some of us ladies abangomama you know you sometimes stop the car uvulisi valo just to relieve yourself ngoba ungafika endlini imoti singokunye la vele you can't control i blood yakho when you're pregnant so i was thinking ukuthi nxa kuvuma can't they be yebo it's a good thing umdana ngahamba esikolo bebe jonjana bekholisa the product sibuyile it doesn't mean ukuthi sokumela alahlwe you are not a reject you learn from your mistakes correct them and move on upiwe i platform but mina ngaqalisa ukuthi eh hamba hamba esikolo futhi abanye abazali uya mina hamba bekuhleka khona lokho nza gcina into zakho ngihamba thathu into zabadala you know ufike endlini eh mama ndi udinwani udinwani eh what cause i'm bitter ukuthi ngihlekise ngabantu or something and this thing is a good thing abazali abafundiswe ama teacher afundiswe abantwana bavuma badingelwe indawo efuna evumayo ukuthi ahambe lesisu sakhe together with uniform emvumelayo ukuthi abe comfortable angalahlekelwa yibuntu ngenxa ukuthi useyenze mistake isisu is not the only mistake yesezwa ngabantu if we can call it a mistake eh abanye bayajonja abanye bayathimthini but ngenxa ukuthi ujonja khona uphuma idundulo lo ukuthi usujonjile uyayekelwa uzi continue with life it's a good thing but i fawo umntwana salela ele dignity ngoba nami nginje umntwana mangavukela so nangeke ngimfihle kwenbeg angeke ngiqamba manje ethi kalaso sona sizakhula but umela esikolo abe ngumuntu kusasa agcina umzulu wami Um, I also think that there should be uh, synergies with the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Health. Like, uh, for example, um, sorry, I'll keep referring to Emakai, Emakai, because most of our work we do Emakai, so I know the kind of environment that they are exposed to. If you know, uh, Emakai, like, maybe, how many months is it? So anti kule system lani ukuthi bahamba beli indela. So uzathola ukuthi umuntu uyahamba ngxe eliya athi acine sihlale 1 month or even more. Eloke eli indela esesibhedlela. So what happens khona phana ngxa abanye beloke be continue befunda. Remember engxenye uluzi levele i first trimester. Ngxe ube gula i morning sickness and what. So most days we nge kwe sikolo and then maybe school mangu form 4 sezabhala. Ahamba eli indela esibhedlela and uh, actually one month or even more a local leader what then happens but if we have a situation whereby someone is in a right state of mind <laughs> maybe to be attending classes or doing something that is related to what they are doing at school even khona ngale a a clinic ababe belindele khona i think it would be better or if we have uh, a situation whereby um umntwana ngazithwala uyakwanisa ukuthi 
um, isistimi ya mvumela, uguti uh, yeke eliskolo, angachuza, <laughs> lavangi boba nga mvumela. Uguti nga umzimela, ayeke eliskolo, and then come back to the same school, maybe nga kati uguveleta, and continue from where they left off. Mm -hmm. I think it will be, it will be feasible. Yeah. The two, uh, mm. you know? Because remember, my antenatal classes, now you have school, you have antenatal classes, you have school, 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 does the school have all those facilities? I'm exclusively for six months. It's called I'm going to go but if I can access some of the classes, maybe from the hospital or from the... Um, okay. And then, I mean, we are footing an issue with the constitution yet when it is protecting Abandwana. Umdwana were to sitting umundonganan because during the lockdown as well, you know, I'm a rights of the unborn child. Were they being uh, protected? Yini and Mayoguti, Uma Mangale, Ugo, Kulumanga, Ishioguti, preparation. You know, is the loss as value. And Umdwana, or unborn, Laye, Ama writes, I can one again because the essential service, Yakeliana, Eoguti, Enel is good to his goals, got zero to three. But he, Ama shops, Lawana, they were closed. You know, Sasi Vulele, Ama essential services, E Tutina, Abandabata, Laogia, Tengisinqua, you know, Lan Lan Lani, but so now Abandu Abas Twele during a pandemic. What then happens in in this in the preparation? And then if Uti Vele, we know which during the lockdown the borders were closed. And the Lakona Lokuti in the event you had money civilly to buy, but did you have a place you go to a corner? You know, so I think those are some of the issues that sh should be really looked into. Am I right of the unborn child? Do we love they need essential services? You know, I remember a list of things I was supposed to take to the hospital with me. You know, and there was actually one shop, you know, we are told a nursing bra, even, but it was closed, and I did not get it. We have one so many moons to sing. I bet she will go to the village. She says the lockdown. I got lie you mal. You ten years in dozen a lesser part. Oh, many moons to foot to sing about lie you mal. But going to land out you go to a thing. So I think in our shops when allow and allow they should be essential mm -hmm. to protect the rights of the unborn child. Yeah, I also think uh, the statutory instruments that were issued they were really not fair on the woman especially the pregnant woman, because they were really silent on pregnant women and nursing moms. Um, I don't know if it was specific, but I didn't see anything. Would we define what uh, essential services are and who can move, who cannot move? I think they were supposed to be really specific and articulate with the pregnant women and nursing women. They will fight a civil in black and white so that it's clear. But it's like, it was just left like that. I think they were supposed to be specific. I don't have to be stressed. In that instance, why would she say, like, yeah, she sang, I don't have time to be thinking about it. I don't have time to be thinking about it. I don't have time to be thinking about it. And to be thinking, I don't have time to be thinking about it. I don't have time to be thinking It really wasn't fair. I think next time, if ever there's another lockdown or there's a statutory instrument that should be issued, I think. Um, the government of Zimbabwe should be really articulate and specific and address the issues of pregnant women mm. and nursing mothers. Just to articulate health care for women. You know, 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 like there's so much. I think they need to have, like you're saying, in black and white, mm -hmm. the women should be able, must be able. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you are right yeah. because even if it's not pregnancy yeah. or nursing mom, ninga chai when I should be able to just go and access the police station or whatever without being questioned. Come and show me how my mother can go to lockdown. You go as I'm putting my family and everyone at risk of contracting COVID. Ngapo mugu puma ngwaya waya for not for no apparent reason. I think they should really be specific on issues that um, 
that speak to women. Yeah. Because, because we talk about, mm. even when we talk about rape, but now when you need your pep, what are you going to do? So I forget what blogging thing you read, was on your blog. Like, there's so much. So I think it really needs to speak on uh, women's health issues. And now, as we close, I, this topic is very close to my heart. I say that in the introduction, because most of you will not know this. I speak about how I have a precious son, and that my son is amazing, he's the best thing. But I got the best one, you know? <laughs> Um, I had my son, what people don't know is that I had my son at 17 and I was young, I was at Poly, it was my first year, first year, yeah, and then my partner, the father of my child, was doing his apathies, uh, we children that discovered that we were having a child, and our blessing was that my mother and his mother, Uma Masin, who was an angel, and my mother, Uma Dube, decided to put their heads together and say, these are two stupid children that have gone and done something they shouldn't have done, but they should not be punished for it. So we, unlike many other teenagers, had the support of both our families. Families that came for us and said to us, when I gave birth in 99, okay, but there was a horrible strike, Yaboto Wode. I gave birth in November 1999. There was a horrible strike that had been going for a very long time. And this baby, the nothing happened to the LA Zero Drop, what will I go to my doctor? I'm a big guy, 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 you know? And that was very hard. I was young. And if I had not had my mother, or oh, my must be indeed, and everyone coming together, this community of women coming to say to me, okay, so if this is what is happening, then this will happen. To walk me through, it would have been scary. So I can imagine not having that support, and then being in a pandemic, and not being able to access healthcare. we are paid and we are paid and it. So for me, I think when I say, would see, a time we talk, but we are here to talk about lived experiences. So in my royal thoughts, when I share these things, I'm not sharing with the other to make or whatever. Like we're saying, with Avantovekega, this is stigma that happened. I struggled. My friends will know that I struggled between being a young girl because I was 17, and then all of a sudden saying English and saying mum, but you call mum one because you don't mind. But even when you never want to acquire, because then you don't do it. So these are some of the things that we don't take into consideration. And one thing that I constantly talk about is that we need to have women in decision-making positions. We need to have women sitting at those tables where these policies are made. Because a woman will raise some of these things. So it's fine, they can go back to school. But how are we going to deal with the stigma? Mm -hmm. How are we going to deal with the mental health of this girl? Because it's not everyone who will get pregnant and they have roses and nice sweet music playing <laughs> and things like that. Is this who is named? 